Because Wario Land 4 wasn't designed with a difficulty curve in mind, you are allowed to tackle any level in the pyramid at your leisure, no matter which one you start with. I started with the Emerald level, which turned out to be one of the most infuriating, not for the levels themselves, but for the eventual boss at the end of the path, Cractus. Cractus is the only boss in the entire game that I didn't get full treasures from, and I never planned to try and get that back. And mostly that's because Cractus wasn't exactly designed with the time limit in mind, and he seems to abuse it frequently. Whenever you take damage from Cractus, he takes about three to five seconds to laugh at Wario, which is a lot of time that could be better spent on trying to dodge and getting another opportunity to stomp him on his head, which is the general idea of how to damage him. I did try to charge at his head with mixed results, but I wouldn't recommend that as a tactic. Once you hit Cractus out of his flower pot, then the race is on. You have to start damaging him pretty damn fast while also running the clock because all the boss fights in this game are timed for some arbitrary reason. I suppose it's a thing to keep the treasure gathering in mind since the treasure gathering is also on the time limit, but again, that doesn't really make a lot of sense as a justification for everything being on a time limit other than adding additional challenge that really didn't need to be there. As long as you correctly designed the boss fights to be challenged in of themselves and you didn't actually need the time limit. Especially when Cractus here, like I said, deliberately abuses the fact that it's on a time limit by wasting time whenever you get hurt. And considering Cractus's overall design and the hitbox it was applied with, that actually happens a pretty damn lot because there's not a lot of places that are totally safe and reliable away from Cractus. You can climb up the vines, but then Cractus will start launching his arms at the vines instead of the ground, and then you got the same problem, but you can't move as much, so it actually ends up being worse off than anything else that you had to hand. Like I said, the basic gist is that you have to jump on Kragnus' head. In the first part of the boss fight around full to half health, this isn't actually a problem. But get him down to his lower health stats and it starts getting a lot worse. Because Cractus stops going low and flying across the screen, taking away one of your best opportunities to deal damage to him. And then you have to sort of jump off of the vines to jump on his head instead. And like I said before, Cractus can easily camp kill you on the vine because you barely have anywhere to move. There's only two vines attached to the ceiling. And every single time that you get hit trying to figure out how to get up to Cractus to hit him in the head, you get a 5 second penalty because Cractus will just fly off screen to laugh at you before coming down and trying the whole thing again. It is a very annoying, very badly designed 
in favor of the boss, a boss fight design. It really is just infuriating, totally unnecessary, and just goes way over the top of trying to make this challenging to the point that it's completely frustrating and makes me hate Cractus as one of the most painful boss fights I've had this entire year, and it's mid-October, so that really is saying something that we're getting out of the video for him now. I don't really have a good strategy for Cractus to beat him other than just I suppose just trying to brute force um, a hit any way you can because Cractus gives you so many limited opportunities, especially after the half health bar mark, and it just turns into trying to game the system, the RNG, and all that other stuff because the opportunities are so few and far between that it really is your only option because that's the only one that Cractus is going to give you. Also, just to make things even more painful on your end, the spit that is unnecessarily animated into Cractus's overall deal can also apply the zombie effect to you, which means you're just taking away even more time that you really couldn't have parted with even in the first place. And considering again, Cractus will just fly across the screen and the drops drop very, very regularly. It feels completely random where you can and can't dodge the drops to get away from that whole thing. Because Cractus just moves so fast that you really don't, you can't really interpret through all the visual noise to actually get a reliable dodge going, which again just takes away more time. And then once you start getting down to the lower time limit, you start getting more desperate, you get hit by more attacks which waste more time, and it just snowballs into itself to the point that Cractus can basically just be expected to be delivered infinite middle fingers into his P.O. box. That is, if he could go claim his P.O. box's contents, being that he's now thankfully dead. And we can move on. Thankfully for us, nothing else in the game really matched the overall annoyance and irritation that Cractus was able to get out of me personally, which is a thankful to God moment for Wario Land 4.